here we got a good running little two-stroke engine. Runs good, works good, starts good. But I have a lot of carburetor videos and I get hounded all the time. Uh, why am I wasting my time? Why don't I just buy one of those cheap Chinese carburetors off of the old interweb? So here I ordered a $11 carburetor that fits this for 11 bucks, under $11 yesterday and Amazon delivered it today. So we're going to take this good running engine that has a good carburetor on it and we're going to put a brand new carburetor on it. One of these brand new Chinese this uh, is a Walbro clone. Put it on there and see if we can get it running. Let's do it. Got all the fuel lines, everything on. So now we just screw it back on. I mean, this repairs as quick as just a couple bolts and on and off. And now let's see if it's as simple as just swapping it on, firing it up. Let's prime, see if we can get fuel to suck through. Yep. We got fuel. Let's fire up. Choke. Huh, was actually hoping for better. We'll put it back exactly how they have it set. All the way closed. Ready for it? Huh? Get it. Get it. Get it. Stop. I ran it for a good five to ten minutes and really dialed it in and got it to the point they would kind of run decent. One of the issues I'm having, and I've had this with all these little Chinese carburetors, is they're completely, the, the metering holes, the jet holes inside that are factory drilled into the housing of the carburetors are either too small or too large. They just, they're just not right. Um, the last one I had, I put on a little mini two-stroke tiller it was actually too lean and I could never, I, I could adjust the uh, the screws all the way out till they were falling out and it make no difference at all in how it ran. It was just, it just would not, the, the hole that feeds the jet was way too small. This one has just the opposite problem where the hole that feeds the jet is just way too large. So the both needles are actually shut and these aren't fixed jets. These are, you carburetor guys will know. These aren't fixed jets, these are actually tapered tapered needles. So the problem is it, it just gives way too much fuel. You adjust these off of their seat and it's just too much fuel and it bogs it out. So it's running way too rich. It is running. Um, I do have uh, the high side just barely, I have it just barely cracked. Um, uh, but one one hundredth of a turn I thought that made it run just a little bit better, but any more than that, and it just bogs right out too much fuel, 
and it just dies. I actually think it's too much fuel right now, but so we've let it sit for a couple couple hours, five hours, six hours. It's nice and cold. I thought we'd give it a cold start and see maybe if sitting, if we could actually make this thing run decently. A couple primes. Put it to choke. Now it's acting like it's too lean. I did have it warmed up good uh, when I set the carburetor. Let's see. I've spent more time fiddling with this than it would have just taken me to rebuild a stock carburetor. Um, and that's one of the problems you run into these with these super duper cheap clone carburetors is there's no quality control. Nobody's testing these out, putting them on flow meters, um, none of that. They're just drilling holes, screwing primer bulbs to it out of a box and just throwing them down the line. You know, if you can pick these up for $11 here in the U.S. and they had to ship and be individually boxed and everything else i can't imagine these are costing more than a dollar to make in china but one of the nice things you know if you order somewhere like amazon if it doesn't work out there's 30 different i mean for this exact carb there's probably 30 or 40 different companies selling it on amazon some of them are branded some of them aren't generally i like to go with the ones that do have some sort of brand name on it you know maybe if they put their name on it they're a little bit more proud of it than a company that doesn't even brand it but you can just return it try another one you don't know you've got to be the quality control when it comes to these things since they don't have quality control that's money and these things are don't, don't cost a lot so is it worth it i guess it does get the engine running for the most part and most of the most of the ones i've used on snow blowers and weed eaters and stuff like that little mini tillers i can get them to run but they never run like perfect um some of them are too lean most of them are too lean um and so I have to drill out jets and stuff like that. But I have to do a fair amount of carburetor work to them. It's never just a cut and dry thing. If your carburetor is completely corroded, rotted, junk, there's no way to rebuild it, yes, get one of these. If your carburetor is just dirty or something else, you know, maybe your fuel lines are just rotted, I don't know, buy one of these. with. They come in kits. I'll put links below. All these little carbs. A lot of them come with kits with the little new hoses, and it'll give you new hoses and a filter and stuff like that. And you can place that and kind of go through your carburetor. And if it doesn't fix it, a lot of times you can take the parts. I mean, this is this one on here is an identical wall barrel. And so the diaphragm and everything is the exact same. So I could take the little diaphragm and the primer bulb off of this one and put it on this one and make, you know, make it work just fine. That's probably what it'll end up doing. Um, but, yeah, you're just going to run into issues. I don't know. Is it worth it? Maybe. It's up to you. It's cheap. does get most engines running decent enough to run but thanks for watching guys see you soon hopefully you enjoyed it have a good one bye